hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c minus 2 divided by 2 whole square is equals to 1 and we solve this problem for all the values of c so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous root Further, we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so. You like both of these methods, but if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And uh, here, first we need to break uh, this square sign. So we can apply this square sign, uh, uh, both of these terms separately. Uh, so it will be written as C minus two whole square divided by this is two square is equals to 1 and uh, now here further in the next step we have this is c minus 2 whole square over 2 square so it will be written as c minus 2 whole square is equals to this is 2 square and 2 square becomes 4 and we move this 2 square to the right hand side and when we multiply this 2 square uh, by 1 it will be written as 4 only and uh, further in the next step uh, here we need to move this 4 into the left hand side and it will be written as c minus 2 whole square minus this is 4 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and uh, further in the next step here we rewrite this equation as this is c minus 2 whole square minus we write this 4 as 2 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 so here we use the nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b and uh, you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so uh, according to this uh, we just apply this formula according to the values of a and b so first you have a minus b the value of a is c minus 2 and minus b the value of b is 2 into this is a plus b the value of a is c minus 2 plus the value of b is 2 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further in the next step we have uh, this is c and minus 2 minus 2 becomes 4 into this is minus 2 and plus 2 so this and this are gone and we get here c is equals to 0 and now here we need to break this equation into the two cases the first case is we write c minus 4 is equals to 0 and the second case is we write c is equals to 0 so here we get the value of c is equals to this is minus 4 when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes plus 4 and here we get c is equals to 0. So these are the two roots of the given equation which we get here from first method and now here uh, we again solve this problem for the second method uh, and in the second method uh, we first need to copy down given question statement here. So that the given question statement is c minus 2 divided by 2 and its whole square is equals to 1. This is the our given question statement and here we need uh, to uh, just take the square root on both of the sides. So when we will take square root on both of the sides it will be written as c minus 2 divided by 2 whole square is equals to square root of 1 okay here i can just apply the square root on both of the sides and now we need little bit simplifications here you see that this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here this is c minus 2 divided by 2 is equals to here we have uh, square root of 1 and we know that square root of 1 is equals to 1 also you know about that when we apply square root on both of the sides then you can just write here plus minus sign of any one of the side so that i can just write this uh, into the right hand side so after that here first we uh, break these two values and here we write the positive value it is c minus 2 is equals to plus 1 and here we write the negative value it is c minus 2 is equals to minus 1 and uh, now here in the next step uh, you see that we have uh, 
uh, from this case uh, we need to move this 2 to the right hand side and it will become c minus 2 is equals to 1 and from here we again move this 2 to the right hand side and it will become c minus 2 is equals to this is 2 times of minus 1 is equals to 2 and uh, further in the next step we have this is minus 2 and we move this minus 2 to the right hand side and it will become here 1 plus 2 and from here we again move this minus 2 to the right hand side and it will becomes minus 2 and plus 2 and uh, now here in the next step we have this is c is equals to 1 plus 2 becomes 3 and from here we have c is equals to minus 2 and plus 2 are gone and we get here 0 so you clearly see here uh, both of these uh, methods uh, get here the same roots of the given equation uh, so both of these get here 0 and 3 and now here in the next step we need uh, to verify the solution of this uh, uh, equation okay so for verification of the solution uh, we again need to copy down given question statement here it is c minus 2 divided by 2 whole square is equals to 1 and in this side uh, we will be verify c is equals to 3 and in this side we will be verify c is equals to 0 so here when we put c is equals to 3 into the left hand side it will be written as 3 minus 2 divided by 2 whole square is equals to 1 and uh, now again you see that we have 3 minus 2 becomes 1 and 1 square is equals to 1 and this is our uh, 2 square and 2 square becomes 4 is equals to 1 so Sorry, here we have little mistake. Uh, so when you will multiply 2 with 1, so you get here this is 2 and this is also 2. So 2 plus 2 becomes here 4 and over this root is 4. So we get here uh, root on both of the sides is 4. So when you put this 4 here, it will become 4 minus 2 square and 4 minus 2 becomes here 2. And when you take the square of 2, it will become 4. So this 4 is cancelled out by this 4. And we get here 1 is equals to 1. So this shows that the value of c is equals to 4 is satisfied our given question statement. And now we verify the second value of c and here we put c is equals to 0 here and after substituting this on this value it will be written as uh, 0 minus 2 divided by 2 whole square is equals to 1. And further in the next step this is minus uh, 0 minus 2 becomes minus 2 and minus 2 square becomes 4 and this 2 square is also becomes 4 is equals to 1 so these are cancelled out by each other and we get here 1 is equals to 1 so this shows that the second value of c is equals to 0 is also satisfied our given question statement so both of the values are satisfied our given question statement so finally uh, we have these are the two solutions of the given equation and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.